Hello everyone, well it's SIBO time again. Yes, I've gone and bought myself another SIBO vacuum cleaner, mainly because it was 15% off, which brought it down to a very reasonable price. But also this is a new model and it has three cleaning heads that I've not used before. It's got a brand new turbo head, a new hard floor nozzle, and a new combination carpet and floor nozzle. So without any further ado, let's unbox the SIBO Airbelt E1 Boost. Now I've had a look on the internet for this model and I can only find one retailer that sells it and that's Hughes Direct. Or you might be able to buy it from Hughes Stores, but I got this online actually from Hughes Direct Store on eBay when they were offering 15% discount. So I've had a quick look but have not properly opened the machine. Now this has, it's obviously an EU model, it's the latest model to meet the EU requirements. So it has, I think it's an 890 watt motor. The maximum allowable is 900 watts. But SIBO and I suspect some other manufacturers are getting round this by offering a boost function. So you can boost this machine to 1200 watts, but for three minutes at a time. So uh, that'll deal with any really stubborn dirt. First thing out of the box is a brand new, well brand new to me, floor nozzle, dedicated hard floor nozzle. So let's have a look at this. It's quite a wide nozzle, so this is ideal if you've got a lot of hard floors in your home. Quite soft brushes there. Two little wheels. Flexible, obviously. It has the parking bracket, so you can actually slot it onto the parking or storage bracket on the cleaner and it uses the click fitting so everything is secure you would put the extension wand in there and it clicks into place until you press the release button so that to me is brand new now something that SIBO don't often provide a standard with their vacuum cleaners is a dusting brush but this particular one does come with the small dusting brush plus a clamp to secure it to the hose. In fact, it's got two types of clamps. I think you need both of them to actually secure it. Actually, it fits onto the wand rather than the hose. So that's something you'd normally have to buy as an optional extra, but it's included with this boost model. Obviously, we've got the full instructions here. The EU energy label. Now, at the time of making this video, the EU, or I don't know, somebody anyway, has abolished part of the labelling system and the part that relates to the performance has been dropped because there's been some controversy with uh, the actual ratings. But you'll still get ratings for energy use, noise level and dust emissions. But this has got all the ratings. So it's a B for energy use, using on average 33.9 kilowatt hours per annum. It gets an A rating for dust emissions, which means the dust emitting from this cleaner should be clearer than cleaner than the actual air that it sucks in. So it's ideal for allergy sufferers. Gets an average C rating for dust pickup from a carpet, a D for dust pickup from a hard floor, and it's relatively quiet at 72 decibels. Next thing out, we have the hose. And it's a swivel hose. This is the cleaner end. I think this is a 2.1 meter. It's, yeah, it's, it's a fairly lengthy hose. You've got a nice comfortable hand grip. And unlike, I've unboxed um, a few of these E-series, including the E3 Premium, which is let down for me by a massive tapered hose. It's very thick at the cleaner end, but this one has done away with the taper toes. In fact, it's the same a diameter hose all the way down. So uh, that's interesting. It should be a bit more flexible to use than the power hose. Here we have a very nice quality. Metal, of course, telescopic wand. There we are, so that can be extended to the full length for cleaning high and low. And of course you can adjust it to whichever length you prefer. Now this is the brand new turbo nozzle. I'll just have to get my scissors to open the bag. 
So let's open up the bag and have a look. That's very smart. Now this has an adjustment to open up an air vent. So you can, it has, well, it's, it looks like it's got three adjustments, judging by this here. So when you're cleaning longer pile carpets, you can open the valve fully so air can continue to flow. Because this is an air powered nozzle, the brushes rotate using the suction of the cleaner. There's no separate motor in this, like on the E3 Premium. So when you're cleaning denser pile carpets, uh, quite a plush carpet, if you have it open, the brushes will still continue to rotate at full speed. But for short to medium pile carpets, you can close it fully for short pile. And uh, looking underneath, here's the brush roll. Quite, quite short brushes, but they're quite stiff. So this should be quite good on pet hair. There's a squeegee at the back. Two little wheels at the front and two at the back. I'm just seeing if there's any way of opening this up. I can't see that there is at the moment. You might have to undo it. Yeah, it needs a specialist screwdriver, which is a shame. I'll check the instructions for this. There may be a way. It looks like it does open. I don't want to force anything. I'll check the instruction book. Behind here is, of course, where the fan is located. You've got to be careful when using a turbo nozzle not to pick up anything hard or sharp because it could damage the fan. But that's the same with any vacuum cleaner with a rotating brush. It's best not to pick up pieces of Lego or glass or nails. And again, you've got the parking slot and the secure click fitting. So you can attach this directly, of course, to the handle if you want to clean your stairs or of course to the end of the extension wand. And finally, nozzle wise, although there are two more nozzles to show you, but they're actually on board the cleaner. This is a new design of carpet and floor nozzle. Certainly new to me anyway. It's the first SIBO cleaner I've owned with this type of nozzle. So let's have a look at this. Looks like a very good nozzle, and of course it's SIBO, so it's a quality machine, this. Um, yeah, I've not had this style of nozzle before. Two large wheels at the back. No other wheels on this, quite a large base plate. You've got the litter pickers to help pick up pet hair, but of course the turbo nozzle supplied is the best nozzle to use for pet hair. But this can be used on more delicate carpets like loop pile carpeting that you're not supposed to use a brush on. And of course, because you've got a big pedal here, you can press that down and then you have the brushes lowered for cleaning your hard floors. And of course, we've got the dedicated hard floor nozzle. This is ideal for wooden floors, more delicate flooring. But for general hard floors, your lino, stone, your regular laminate, this nozzle will be fine. So that's all the tools. Let's have a look at the cleaner. Right, now it looks quite black. I don't know if it looks black when you're actually viewing it, but it is in fact a very dark chocolate brown color. But to me, it is a very, very dark brown. It is almost black. Now trouble with black machines and dark colored machines, I find they do tend to show the scratches quite a lot. But to protect your cleaner and to protect your furniture, we've got the air belt system finished in a light gray. I would have liked to have seen a different color and a design actually. It's um, orange would have looked fantastic with the chocolate brown. Two orange and brown go very well together. But uh, this has just got a plain sort of silver gray air belt. And what happens with the air belt, the machine actually exhausts the air via the air belt. So there's no grill on the top or the back. The air is diffused around the body of the machine. So it forms two purposes, one to protect the cleaner and your furniture, and of course the other to diffuse the air and to help keep the noise level down. So it's relatively light, very nice, sturdy carry handle here. And underneath, we've got three swivel casters. Two at the back and one at the front. Here is your slot. You can put any of the tools, the large tools in 
when they're connected to the extension wand and you can help keep everything neat and tidy together. So it's a SIBO. I've always said that SIBO cleaners are fantastic quality. There's no sign that SIBO have reduced the quality of their cleaners. From the very first cleaner of their production line to the last, they are very well made. And they all have a five year parts and labor guarantee as standard. So it's a nice little compact machine. The other cleaning tools supplied with this machine are actually stored on board. So just here, we have the crevice tool. That's a quite nice length. That's for your nooks and crannies, down the sides of your chairs, get those biscuit crumbs. And in the car, of course, in between the car seats and uh, the gear lever, everything, you can get into all those nooks and crannies using the onboard crevice tool. That just slots back in there. And the other tool, the sort of upholstery nozzle, you can use for your upholstery, your stairs, your curtains, is located here. So you just press it to release, and then that will fit onto the end of the wand or the end of the handle. You've got a little brush at the front to help dislodge any stubborn dirt. And then that fits back that way, is it? Yep, there we go. Also on the back, you've got the little parking slot where you can park any of the large accessories. Now I've just checked, you can actually access the turbine. There's just a little catch here. Let me just pop that down and show you. So this part does come off and you can see the turbine there. So it's just made of plastic. It's fairly solid, but it won't withstand some very hard, sharp objects being sucked. You might break the veins of that. So if that gets tangled up, you can open up that little trap door and see where the problem is. If you get any hairs wrapped around the brush, you can cut them with a pair of scissors to loosen them. It doesn't actually remove very easily. You've got to have to dismantle the whole thing. So it doesn't have an easy brush removal system like SIBO's uprights and their ET1 power head. So that's that and that fits back on there. Back to the cleaner. We've got a check bag indicator just here, which will indicate when there's a blockage or you need to check the bag. And the bag is located inside here. You can actually close it before emptying or replacing the bag. Just lifts out, put that in the bin when it's full and put a new bag in. There's a filter here before the motor. And the bag just goes back in like that. And the final filter is located here. This gives it an A rating for dust emissions. So it's very efficient at keeping the dust in that you've picked up. You just squeeze these two levers together and then lift out the filter cover. And inside here, we've got what looks like a little bag, but that is in fact the exhaust filter. So all the air passes through the bag, the pre-motor filter, then through this exhaust filter and finally out of the machine via the air belt. So that, of course, both filters can be replaced and should be probably at least once a year. They're not designed to be washed. So that is something you need to factor in. Of course, if you're buying a bag to vacuum, you need to factor in the cost of bags and filters but you don't have the messy emptying you get with many bagless cleaners. Some people do still prefer bagged machines, and I'm one of them, to be honest. I'll just check the label. I guess it's an 890 watt motor, and obviously it's made in Germany. Just a couple of controls on the machine itself. You've got the automatic cord rewind button here and this combined on off and suction control. So you press it to turn the machine on and you turn it to increase or decrease the suction. And there's also a boost feature, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, we might as well plug this machine in. So you can pull out the cord. I'll pull it out all the way. Quite a nice length of cable on this. Nearly there. Let's let it go back in the machine a little bit. That's it. Okay, let's plug this cleaner in. 
So that's the machine plugged in. I'll connect the hose. With the hose and the cable combined, you've got a cleaning radius of 10.8 meters. So that means you should be able to clean quite a large area before you're having to find a socket. So the hose just plugs in this way. The hose doesn't actually swivel in the machine, but it does swivel. The hose end does swivel both sides, so it shouldn't get tangled up. Okay, let's switch on. I'll start it off on its lowest power setting. So it's very quiet. Of course, it's on its lowest setting. When the machine's on, you'll see that the blue light glows on the control. So, very acceptable suction power considering this is only 890 watts, but of course that's on maximum, it's not on boost. So because this is a boost model, we can have three minutes of boost um, before it re reverts back to the lower setting. So to activate the boost, you first turn it to full power and then you turn this dial again until the blue light starts to flash. So even on boost power, this machine is relatively quiet, but of course the noise level may increase when we add the turbo nozzle. So we'll just pop that on and just see how noisy the turbo nozzle is. That's not too bad, actually. And of course, it will be a bit quieter when it's actually on the carpet. So this is the way you can use it like this. If you've got your carpeted stairs and you want to give them a thorough vacuum, the turbo nozzle will fit directly. And of course, all the other tools, including the upholstery nozzle, you can fit that directly to the handle as well. And it's quite a nice, comfortable hand grip, easy to hold. So that fits back there. But of course, for cleaning your carpets and floors, you'll want to add the extension wand. Fits together with a nice satisfying click. And then, depending on the surface you're cleaning, you can add the dedicated hard floor tool, the combi tool. Interesting to see if this particular nozzle grips to the carpet. Some low energy models, the nozzles supplied with them are very difficult to push, um, especially on maximum power. If you want the best pickup, you want to use the machine on maximum, but a lot of these nozzles, you have to turn down the suction so you can actually move them across the carpet. So I'll just give this a quick go. Not on this textured rug, because things are easy to move on this. I'll just try it on my short pile carpet. Of course, I'll uh, see how easy this is to push. The turbo nozzles on the whole tend to be a lot easier to push across the carpet than a straight suction nozzle. Well, I'm quite impressed with this new turbo nozzle. It's not too noisy and uh, it seems to do a very good job. I think it's probably the best turbo nozzle SIBO have provided with their cleaners. So even on full power, it was relatively easy to push on this short pile carpet. I didn't try it on boost. We'll give it a quick go on boost. I can't see it being very different. <laughs> Yes, it is slightly harder to push on boost, but 
it's still a lot easier than a straight suction nozzle. Speaking of straight suction nozzles, I'll just go and grab the standard nozzle that comes with this machine and see how that fares. I'm just going to try it on maximum to start with. It's not unbearable, it's, it, I can move it, but it is harder to push certainly than the turbo head. But that's on full power. I think on boost it will be quite difficult. Yes, yeah, so to make it easier to push, you do have to reduce the suction, so bear that in mind. But of course, if you're going for this model, you'll be using the turbo nozzle, I would have thought, most of the time. But it's still okay, it's not as bad as some of these low energy nozzles I've used. One small criticism I have of this cleaner, in fact of the whole E series, is the placement of the automatic cord rewind button. It's very close to the on off switch. So there's been several occasions when I've been using my other E1 series cleaners where I've wanted to turn the machine on or off and I've accidentally hit the cord rewind button. So be aware of that when you're using yours. You just have to be careful not to touch this. Now it's a single touch cord rewind. So one press should be all it takes to rewind the cable. Well, that's the end of my unboxing and first look at the SIBO Airbelt E1 Boost bagged vacuum cleaner. First impressions, it's very well made as all SIBO cleaners are. It's relatively quiet. The turbo head seems a vast improvement on the previous one offered with SIBO cleaners. Um, it's compact, it's light, it's a very nice quality vacuum cleaner. It would be my top recommendation if you're looking for a well-built German-made machine. Basically, in the UK, we have two main brands that offer quality bagged vacuums. That are Sibo and Miele. Now, I like both brands. Both have their pros and weaknesses. But as far as build quality goes and reliability, I think Sibo pips Miele to the post. This comes with a five-year parts and labor guarantee as opposed to a two-year guarantee with most Miele cleaners. If you have any comments or questions about this vacuum cleaner, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe and you'll see the full demonstration of this cleaner coming up very soon. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.